I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 410 brought to you by Drobo. When Apple released the iPhone, there were a handful of universal complaints shared by even fanboys and girls like us. Two were fixed with the release of the iPhone 3G, 3G and GPS, and one wasn't. Copy and paste. At the last iPhone dev camp, Juvie Well from a company called Proximi met a college student called Zach White. You may not have heard of Proximi, but if you have an iPhone, you may have heard of MagicPad, the first iPhone application that demonstrated how copy and paste could work on an iPhone. The problem was that it only worked within MagicPad. Zach White figured out a way that copy and paste can be implemented from one application to another without violating Apple's iPhone SDK agreement. Zach started a nonprofit open source community project called OpenClip. When a developer adds the OpenClip framework to an iPhone app. That app gains copy and paste functionality. Let me give you a demo using three unreleased versions of Twitilator, WordPress, and MagicPad. I'm opening Twitilator. I'm going to load up my friend's Twitters here. And I am going to look for a tweet that has a link in it. Let's see. Here's one from my friend Paul Culligan. I just press and hold, and I get the option to either copy the whole tweet or copy the whole URL, and I'm going to do the whole shebang, copy the tweet. Now I can go over into WordPress, okay, and create a new post from Clipboard, and I'm going to get the whole tweet. It's going to look exactly like the tweet, even with Paul's picture. WordPress likes HTML, MagicPad doesn't. So pasting the same bit to MagicPad just gives me plain text. App developers can choose to implement formatting however they want. How is this working without violating the Apple SDK agreement? Apple forbids applications from running in the background because it would take up too much of the iPhone's resources. Also, developers are not allowed to create plugins that make their apps work with other apps on the iPhone. Zach White honored the Apple call to think different. His OpenClip framework uses a shared space on the iPhone. Any application that includes OpenClip can then access the common area and write to it and read from it, thereby enabling copy and paste between participating apps. The key to making this work, though, is adoption. iPhone app developers have to join Zach's mission, and that's why I'm voting a whole brief to it. Apple says copy and paste is on the to-do list, but it isn't a priority. Well, it's a priority to me and thousands of other iPhone users. Zach is launching openclip.org at any minute now. If you're an iPhone developer, please go see what it's all about. Again, it's nonprofit, it's open source, and the project makes the iPhone even more useful. I recorded an audio interview with Zach, and I'm releasing it along with this show. Brief 410 was brought to you by Drobo. My promo code Cali, C-A-L-I, will save you $25 at drobostore.com. Come on, Drobo is exactly where you want to keep a picture like this, right? <laughs> I'm Callie Lewis. Tomorrow, HID. Thanks for watching. Zach White figured out a way that copy and paste can be implemented from one... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> implemented.